This video is brought to you by the Rich Wallet. It's light, sleek and industrial. It doesn't fold or bulge in your back pocket. It holds up to 12 cards, plus has room for your cash. It has over 30,000 five-star reviews and the Rich team is so confident that you will like it that they will let you try it for 45 days. And if you don't like it, just send it back for a full refund. Get 10% off today with free worldwide shipping and returns by going to rich.com slash DS10. Link is also in the description. As always, thanks for the support and enjoy the video. This is weird what happened here. Remember they were supposed to make the fight on October 24th. It was supposed to be Ferguson Poirier. Poirier has contract issues, so they go Ferguson Chandler. Ferguson says, no, he wants Poirier. Then they drop both of them. Chandler's the backup fighter, right? So then the dust settles there and Ferguson kind of sees all the love that Chandler is getting. And he's like, you know what? I want to fight that guy. Let's do it December 12th. So they go to the UFC, say December 12th. UFC tells Tony Ferguson, Michael Chandler's booked. He's fighting on January 23rd. Michael Chandler does an interview and says, I'll fight Tony Ferguson on January 23rd. Third. Tony Ferguson says, hey, you're already booked. What are you talking about? <laughs> and so there's all this confusion. In the end, he's like, you know what? I'm moving on. I'm going to go fight Charles Oliveira on December 12th at UFC 256. That's a phenomenal fight. Yes. Charles Oliveira has won seven in a row. He doesn't get talked about enough as one of the top guys at 155. Trying for another he's submission. And there is that hair. He continues to pile on to his record. Charles Dupont. Oliveira sure appears to be on fire. Oh! Big right for Oliveira! Hammer fist! Nick Lance is down! Charles Duprox Oliveira! Does it wrap him up? He knocks him out! He's on quite the streak. We haven't seen him since his win over Kevin Lee. Oliveira forces the tap! Charles Oliveira! Another submission! Who do you want to find next? Tony Ferguson. Ferguson. I mean, he's always going to be Tony Ferguson. He's one of the toughest men that's ever walked the face of the earth. But I think he was preparing for a grappler, and then he's fighting an all-American wrestler who does not want to go to the ground and who has nasty striking. As soon as I got out of the fight, I went to the academy. I looked at my fight. Obviously, I was pissed off. You know, I had to soak everything in. I usually give myself a day to get back, you know what I mean, to like get back mentally and focus. But it took a little bit more time. I hadn't lost in, what, eight years? I mean, like literally 12 fights. I mean, what do you think? You know what I mean? So... I took some time off and really think about what my future is titled. This is my new approach. This is my new life. This is my choice to do things my way. Can anyone complain about Charles Oliveira versus Tony no. Ferguson? That's a fantastic fight. And it also gives Oliveira a chance to really move himself even further up the division. He's found a way to stay calmer long, but I would still argue for you. He likes it right off the bat, particularly if he can catch you with something and catch you when you're dry. He's got a triangle. He's got it locked up, Mike. Right away. He's getting pretty reckless with his hands and feet out there, and I mean reckless in a complimentary way. There's the tap. Wow. Charles Oliveira yeah. does it again. Wow. He's now a guy that can go with anybody in those minutes. Mental lapses that he would have before are of the past. Oh, and it's shown on the seven by win streak. It's shown in the time that he's had to bounce back. But he's never been in a fight with anyone like Tony Ferguson. Tony Ferguson acknowledging, but he's still got a lot more left in the tank, a lot of growing left to do. I'm really back to my old school roots where I thought I was, but I wasn't. And having fun again. For the honor oh! of the ultimate fighter. Oh! And then it's all over. Tony Ferguson is the ultimate fighter. Wow. All right, Tony, congratulations. You are the ultimate fighter. You win the six figure contract. Congratulations on an awesome performance. You are the ultimate fighter. We'll see you again, my friend. Ferguson is as gifted and as good as anyone that he's ever been in the octagon with. It's going to be a, a great fight. Those guys are going to bring it from start to finish. There's going to be a lot of blood, and um, it's going to be fun.